everybody how's it going welcome back to the channel today I am going to be making a cross wreath I don't know if you can see it but here's the cross frame I'm going to be making this into a wreath I'm gonna uh, do the angel wings and also the center will be a floral piece so look at all this mesh now I have been cutting mesh, prepping. So I have about two more pieces to make and then I'm gonna start making it. So I have white and blue. I have about 11 pieces of white and I'm going to have about 20 pieces of blue. I have to count it afterwards. Um, I got enough to make two more and I wanted to show y'all how I did that so I will be using my wood burner I got this from I think Hobby Lobby for like $14 $15 I have uh, a clipboard that I have it on you cannot use this wood burner on your mat I accidentally hit my mat with this and it like burned through my little tin marker so what I did was I unrolled my mesh out at the 10 inch mark this is the 10 uh 10 inch mesh at the 10 inch mark i just use my wood burner and go straight down right down to the bottom here and that's a piece right here and now i'm going to unroll this last little piece and I'll have all my mesh prep. So I put my scissors on it and I unroll it out. And I hope I got this bag of zip ties to hold it down for me. Or well, cable ties. Zip ties, cable ties, same thing. I know smoke and all that, but I don't want to wear a mask. It will be okay. So, see if I have enough for one more. Let's see here. Extreme emergency piece. So, I have all of my mesh cut, and here's my wireframe. So, I am through with this, and I'm through with my wood burner. So, I just cut that off and put this to the side. So, now what I'm going to be doing is attaching my mesh to my wreath frame so I just bought this from Home Depot it's like $30 for a thousand of these four inch zip ties I saw Southern's Al tutorial she used three inch zip ties but they didn't have that at Home Depot so these will have to do the four inch ones so these are the four inch zip ties and what she did was the zip tie will go on these two these two right here in the middle and I'm going to change this angle around so y'all can see what I'm doing better okay the first thing I'm going to do is got my zip ties right here have this one which will go under these middle two so what I'm going to do is make my angel wing. So what you do is fold it into a square corner to corner. Just like this. And then you just gather it like this in the middle.
fold it down right here. And this piece right here, where you fold it, will be where you attach the zip tie. So, go ahead and do this. trusty snippers and cut and then I'm going to do another blue one and then after that I'm gonna do blue blue white blue white blue all the way up the reason I'm doing it like that is because I was low on the white so I know I have less white than blue so let me show y'all a couple of more of these another one right here and then you just right here and then you just bend it right here so you go ahead and add the zip tie underneath here and just stack it on top I don't see how so they're now did this with smaller zip ties I think I should have got the bigger ones and snip I think the 8 inch ones would have been easier to maneuver I was trying to get as close to pop as possible to what she did so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and once I finish this first first section I'm gonna come back and show y'all what I've done
Okay, everyone, here it is so far. So after I finish up with the sides here, I will be right back because whenever I start doing a wreath, especially one I've done for the first time, I can't really see what it looks like until after it's finished. I can't like imagine what it's supposed to look like. So, let's see here. So, I'm just fluffing it out a little bit. But, but let me go ahead and finish up with these sides here and I will be right back. here I'm going to add two blue ones then a white blue white blue and then I'll be through with all the mesh and I will start doing my floral centerpiece I thought about making a bow centerpiece but I was like nah I'm gonna try a floral one I don't use floral too too much you know some of my wreaths have floral pieces in them but I haven't did any like main floral pieces to any of my wreaths yet. I thought about doing a grapevine wreath because grapevine wreaths they seem to be um, they seem to be floral wreaths a lot. Um, I never see any deco mesh added to uh, you know grapevine wreaths. So I have a grapevine wreath over there that I'm thinking about repurposing. It was a, you know, old 4th of July wreath, looked like from the 90s. So I thought about fixing it up and, uh, you know, adding a bunch of different floral to it. Just a little project to do, you know, upcycle materials and all that. Your girl is cheap, <laughs> basically. So I want to see what I can do with just an upcycle grapevine wreath before I go spend some money on one. But let me finish this up. And when I finish, I'm gonna fluff it out and I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like.
here it is so far so what I'm going to do now is add my center so what I have for the center is some floral these are magnolias I believe. yes some magnolias so I was thinking snip these down and I'm gonna play with it for a second so when I get the arrangement down I'm gonna come back and show y'all what I have and then I'm going to I don't know if I'm a zip tie or hot glue it I'm thinking I might hot glue it I don't know yet but so let me go ahead and cut these down and I will be right back okay what I decided was I am going to zip tie these little bundles down. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is put this right in here and then zip tie this down. here it is and let me get a different angle for you so you can see what it's looking like okay everybody here is my cross wreath what do y'all think I really like the blue and the white that's really pretty to me and then just a little bit of floral in the middle with some magnolia uh, and some greenery. But here it is. So if y'all have any comments or questions, drop them below. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Um.